Okay, now open the landmark 3D eyes. So first, we will start from the symbol. Now we will mark the letters. So click uh, text. Put the uh, mouse here. You can input Bogong. Click OK. Now you can get the letters. Here we can change the um, the font of the letters. And then we can click apply. If you want to change the size, you can uh, use this button. Also, you can choose the uh, general. Here you can change the X and Y size. It's better to choose the proportional. So here we can set 50 millimeter. The Y will change automatically. Then click apply. We, this button we can put to original. Okay, now we can get it. Because uh, right now we are using the 200 and 200 uh, work area. Uh, here we can check it. Mm, correction. So here you can see we use the 200 CDIs. So we click the character. The work types is 80. So if you want to use the 3DIs 200 and 200, you need to change the Z position to 80. If you don't change it, it cannot mark. If we, uh, if we set here 0, we can check. Uh, check this button. You can see the letters is here. We need to move it up to the surface here. Then the laser will work. In. So now we change it to 80. Click apply. You can see the letter move to the top. Now we uh, change it to top view. Okay, now we check it. Um, we can set the engraving parameters. First, remove this one. We can set the speed to 1000 or uh, all 1500. Uh, different parameters get different results. Um, mostly, we will change the mark speed, the power. The power you can maybe choose 40 or 80. Uh, if you set the big power, the laser will be more strong. So maybe first we can set uh, 60. Because this machine is 50 watt recurrent laser, so the frequency we can set 50. If your laser is a more power laser, uh, you need to ask our sales to check the frequency and the wet pulse. So click apply. We can choose the select mark. If you choose this button, cycle mark, it will mark continually. That means will no stop. One time, two times, three times. So uh, we will mark one time. So remove this one. Now we can check the preview. Uh, click it. Or you can click the F1 on the keyboard. So we uh, preview. Now you can see the little have one square. You will see here have the one square. It will show you position. Stop preview first. You can see this is only the after line of the letters. We, you, if you want to fill the line, we can tell you how to do it.